Singapore's of residents at the ANU have faced unprecedented challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. Like many other issues faced by our halls, our senior residents are on the front line of this issue. We have spoken to multiple SRs about the obstacles they have faced during the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the biggest issues SRs have faced is the clear conflict between the role of a senior resident as someone who is responsible for pastoral care and the new additional responsibility of being someone who enforces COVID regulations. Pastoral care requires a level of trust and close relationships between SRs and residents. While the seemingly arbitrary and often contradictory regulations position SRs as the bad guys. As stated by one SR, it's very hard to cultivate trust and put forward compliance issues. And as raised by another SR, this means that SRs are incentivized to not enforce COVID regulations and compliance in order to still have a level of trust with our residents. Moreover, while there is obviously the need for COVID regulations, the inconsistency between rules, such as not allowing for more than two people in a dorm room, but having large bar nights with dance floors, means students are, according to one SR, not going to respect SRs trying to enforce a policy that both residents and SRs fundamentally don't believe in. Student leaders are then left in the awkward position of enforcing a policy we perceive as to be directly undermining our residents' well-being. As stated by one SR, I don't really get the point of only having two people in a lift when all the first years have gone out the night before to moose and made out with each other anyways. Wouldn't it be better to have looser restrictions that everyone actually adhered to, followed and respected, rather than really tight restrictions that everyone broke? Other difficulties raised include the consequences of the no guests during O-Week policy. Hypothetically, this was supposed to minimise contact between residents and halls, so that if there was a positive case from interstate, spread would be minimised. However, as stated by 1SR, in practice, it's pretty naive to think that people aren't just going to lie and have people over anyways. In the case of a COVID positive individual, this policy then would actually inhibit effective contact tracing, as students could potentially lie about their movements to avoid the repercussions of breaking COVID restrictions. The same SR also added that the no guest policy placed students at risk as if they brought someone home after a night out and a sash incident occurred, they may feel uncomfortable disclosing as they have broken restrictions. Additionally, while restrictions are the same across the halls, their enforcement is not. Some halls administrations may see the impact COVID compliance has on their SRs and choose to turn a blind eye when they do not enforce certain rules. Conversely, other halls admin continue to require strict enforcement from SRs. This further leads to cultural issues and can particularly alienate first years. For instance, those who belong to a hall who st with strictly enforced COVID restrictions may feel like they don't want to spend time at their own residence and go to more loosely monitored colleges. Restrictions on drinking in common kitchen spaces has also seen an influx in pre-drinking before events, especially with students who may have only just turned 18. As one SR put it, we have seen dangerous levels of pre-drinking before events, nothing like we have seen previously. If people are going to be drinking excessively, there is somewhat of a choice. Are we going to allow people to drink in a common kitchen or outdoor spaces after 10pm, where this is at least a minimum level of supervision and support, or have them drinking excessively alone in their rooms or at Civic? I for one think that harm minimisation is the best route. There is obviously an understanding amongst SRs that the ANU may need to implement harsher rules for on-campus residents, especially compared overall to ACT Health. These are seen as necessary to prevent a potential outbreak on campus. However, are restrictions that are inconsistently enforced, damaging to SR and student relationships, and often contradictory, really keeping us safe? In response to the concerns raised in the story, the ANU stated that their COVID response office will organise a forum for senior residents to discuss their concerns and co-design a more risk-based approach on keeping their homes safe. Senior residents will also be able to provide advice on how to best support implementation, including what is the right balance of responsibilities between staff and student leaders.